Derek, many congratulations. Thanks, Luke. How's that feeling? Oh, great. Uh, I think any time um, you win a semi-final, especially a late winner like it was, you know, you've got to try and enjoy the moment. Um, it was a fantastic moment when Lewis gets on the end of it. I think uh, on Lewis, I think obviously when Andy goes off, we're, we're not the biggest team today either, but when Andy goes off, he's then got to pick up a six foot three striker that their set plays and he deals with that. Um, but he's also imposing enough and determined enough to get on the end of um, now McGinn's cross and, and get the all important goal. You know, I was disappointed with we set plays because with Conor Golson being that spare header in the middle of the goal, we wanted to make sure we bypassed him often enough and too often we were throwing it on top of him. But Lewis has got the flight of the ball, get above a gyra and fantastic head, a good technique to get on the end of it. And it was a, a brilliant moment for us because we had to dig in at times. You know, we um, we uh, had one or two good moments in the, in the first half, but not enough. I thought Rangers um, huffed and puffed and never really worked Joe. I think I think you see any team, it's, it's, a striker's all important, you know, and uh, I think Rangers... Rangers star player is Morelos, and I think they, they missed him today. Um, but I thought they huffed and puffed. I thought they dominated a lot of the possession, as you maybe sometimes expect. But we defended brilliantly, and that's you know three clean sheets now. We've not lost a goal in the League Cup, and you know our club's been built. Uh, any trophies we've won about coming to Glasgow and winning against the old firm, and for us to win the League Cup this year, we're going to have to beat a strong Hibs team at Easter Road, Rangers at Hamden, and then Celtic at Hamden. So. At least we're in the mix. Well, this team's still working hard to find their best form and, and make those improvements as we go along. It is a new team again, having lost a few players. It's it's good we can still get to cup finals while we're still working together. Yeah, when you lose a bit of character and people questioning Aberdeen this season because the, the good run in the last few years. Yeah, it's, you know, it's it's. I think it's the nature of what what we've done in the last five years. We've. Seven semi-finals, four cup finals in five and a bit years. You know, you need to go back nearly 30 years to get something close to that. Um, but, you know, I can't defend my own record or the, the team all the time. You know, it's there to be seen for. We just, we understand there's certain games where we can do better and we deserve criticism, like every team. But, you know, it's uh, we're making a far better fist of it as a club and being competitive, doing a lot of things right to try and keep us competitive against teams like Rangers with a far bigger resource, teams like Celtic. You know, we're, we're judged and criticised at times for not beating the old firm. There was a time not so long ago where Aberdeen couldn't even beat Ross County and Inverness with the greatest respect. So, you know, um, if we're there to be criticised, fine. It means we're at least putting ourselves in a position to be criticised. How was Andy He's OK, thankfully. It was, it was, it was actually conscious. It wasn't a... He wasn't out cold or anything. It was more of his neck that the medical staff were concerned about. Obviously, they've got to be really careful with that. Um, but I've had a text him from the hospital now, and he's, he's absolutely fine. So whether he's fine enough to go and play the next game, I don't know. But he's certainly nothing um, to uh, no, no no lasting damage. I wouldn't have thought. But that didn't make it easy for yourself then, because you had to go and reshape the side when you saw that. My biggest concern, my, my biggest concern was the size of the team, because um, we weren't the biggest, as I said before. Um, when you play young Scott Wright and young Lewis Ferguson, it's all about balance. Max was maybe unlucky. Max Lowe was unlucky maybe not to play anyway because he's been doing fine. But we needed enough size in the team, enough experience in the team to deal with the game. Um, but when Max went on, he got to the, the pitch of the game pretty well. But he's, uh, it did make us a bit lighter size-wise. Um, and uh, like I say, we all had to take a bit more responsibility. And uh, thankfully, we've seen off Rangers set plays. Um, but, you know, we... Uh, Max did fine, and he's going to do fine for us. And uh, thank you for all my players, really, and for the supporters who, particularly the ones who made the effort today to come down and get behind the team. Um, delighted to send them home happy because I mean, even a lot of them may have not been expecting us to get the job done against a good Rangers team. And you know, Stephen's got a good thing going here. They're doing doing great, Rangers. You know, it was always going to be a tough task for us. I thought we'd have to have played better than we did, truth be told, to win the game. But I knew we'd have to defend well and show enough resilience as we've shown in the Cup. Uh, and thankfully, that part of the game um, has got us into a final. Derek, what's it say about the maturity of Lewis? He's only 19 this week, obviously a big build-up with his family being in the media and stuff, and then he comes and delivers a performance like that. He's a dream, my boy. I absolutely trust him um, with anything I ask him to do, whether it's screening a back four, whether it's playing against Burnley and making sure he's got in the box and supported. 
he, he's one of those ones, he's just a natural footballer. He was born to play at Hamden, he was born to play games here and and, and he's going to have a fantastic career. Um, you know, he did his hands full in there, Rangers rotation it good, was good at times, but he still had a calmness about him and authority about him and a competitive part of him that kept him in the game and uh, he's, he's, I always knew that, I always felt he was going to be an important player for me quickly. Um, from the first day at testing at pre-season, it wasn't just, oh, that'll do. It was like trying to be the best right away. And it's a great attitude to have as a young player. But as well as being a good footballer, technically, he, he be, he's a, does everything. He runs like a footballer, passes like a footballer, and moves like a footballer. Um, but his biggest thing is his uh, determination to be the best player he can be. And uh, there's a real level of maturity there for somebody so young. Don't know, David. The plan would be to try and do that. That team that lost that final was we were up against the best Celtic team of a generation that, that year. They were um, outstanding, getting um, rightly praised for everything they, they, they did, beating everybody before them. Um, and I do feel losing the two finals that year, that one in particular, was was tough on us. We come up against a very strong team, but that day, that was a that was the end game for that team, my team. That was three, four years in the building, uh, in the building, up, um, signing players, McLean, Jack, Hayes, McGinn, you know, losing Paula and uh, Ash Taylor, you know, five of my outfield starters, regular starters, lost, I lost them that summer. And it almost felt like that was the kind of last game for them. Um, so that took, that team was three, four years in building and we're trying to build another team at the minute. Um, and, it, and it's tough to keep continually trying to replace good players. I, I can't get a ready-made Kenny McLean or Ryan Jack now, or a Johnny Hayes, or a now, now is obviously back. It's difficult to replace like for like. Um, but the plan is to try and work with young players. They get used to how your way of working, you try and improve them. And for our club to sign somebody like Lewis Ferguson is important. You know, we, we took Kenny from St Mun. We took Shinny from Inverness, young players who we felt we could give them a platform. Uh, I uh, know that we're trying to sell loose, obviously we want to hold on to him for a little bit longer, but that's the job for me to try and keep putting teams out that are competitive and, and obviously the Rangers have clearly improved as Celtic. It's always going to be tough to beat them, but do I think we can beat Celtic over a cup tie? Absolutely, absolutely. But um, for us to win the League Cup, we're going to have to have beaten Hibs, Rangers and Celtic uh, and Edinburgh, Glasgow and Glasgow. It's not going to be easy, but we're 90 minutes away for doing it. Yeah, great result for you today, another cup final for you. Uh, you've got to take some of that positivity from today into yeah. the league form, starting against... It's the last the thing players. I said to the players there. I think it's important that we, uh, you know, just try and um, focus ourselves now on that league and uh, try and clocking up some points and getting some wins behind us. I think it's important we come into that Celtic game in December in good form. And... Uh, We've got work to do. Every player's got to take responsibility for their own game and try to make sure we're as good as we can be. Guarantee it. Hopefully, injuries are, are 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 good for us and we get into the game and with confidence because we're certainly going to have to um, get moving in the league as well. Derek, on the final, do you hope uh, that take of tickets for this game doesn't influence what decision is going to be made in terms of what you might get for the final? Uh, who knows? I think obviously we're arguments weakened and based on a semi final. Um, I think a cup final um, is there for people to enjoy. We've always brought plenty in a cup final. Your semi-final crowd has normally been as it was today, regardless of opposition. Um, you know, you still get almost 11,000 fans down from Aberdeen in a semi-final on Sundays. Still no bad shooting. That's the way it's always been at our club, to be honest. But for cup finals, you know, obviously we're looking for a lot more. Um, and uh, who knows? I don't really want to get into that this argument at the minute, but. Um, I'm sure if we get 50-50 split, there'll be plenty, uh, um, plenty of people want to make sure they see Aberdeen compete in a final again. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.